If you looked at my Facebook feed, you know how Facebook, I guess, customize the algorithm customizes mm. your feed to suit the things that you're interested in. The majority of the things that pop up on my Facebook feed are from people that are in copywriting or business or marketing or social media. So I'm seeing what they're doing. Yeah. And seeing what's, what, what's working. So um, I started to see what was happening in groups before it really happened. Mm. And I'm talking, there were dudes that were fucking anti-group. Fucking things. There were dudes that were anti-group that have just started groups. Mm. Now, that's because their business isn't suffering. And you look at, there was an article on Business Insider the other day about a company, oh, I don't remember what it was called, you could probably look it up, who have closed down. And because the Facebook algorithm was, the change that occurred, was so detrimental to their business, they can no longer trade. Mm. And I think there would be businesses in Australia that are so dependent on a single source of income, such as Facebook or Instagram. So Instagram models, you wait, that'll be next, that'll change. And then all of a sudden, all of the um, Instagram fit, fit, fitspiration, people that are getting paid five grand for a you know, for what are they called? Influencer post. Yeah. That will die soon. Face like you think face it's the same owner. The same dude's driving Facebook's engagement into a direction that he that's better for the end user. Which makes sense. Like, if you're on Facebook, you're not there to get marketed. And if they can change the way the marketing works, they make more money and then the people are paying to play and they're getting better value, Instagram's gonna follow eventually. But if you're one dimensional in your marketing tactics and you don't control that dimension that's dangerous because we we were one dimensional in our marketing the marketing was me going to a footy game and getting drunk with a client and developing a relationship with them and that's very very shitty way of looking at it you know there was we spent time with our clients and we learned what they want but I, I've got their phone number and their email address no, no one controls that like it doesn't like Telstra don't just go oh well if you don't start paying me a thousand dollars a month in telephone access you're not going to be allowed to ring your customers. Mm. So um, I think a lot of people, you know how they had, there was the dot-com boom? Mm. It was like a Facebook boom and it occurred and closed, what, two months ago? And everyone was doing really well and Facebook were making lots of money, but then Facebook obviously started to see a decline in their users. Mm. And I think that they've just gone, okay, time to make a change. So they were obviously graphing that or, or watching it. And they've gone, okay, it's now. Now, like they would have planned for it. Time to flip the switch, change how it operates. You've got pages on on Facebook with, you know, 50, 100,000 fans that are getting six likes on a post or two likes on a post. Mm. And that's not because people don't like what they're posting. It's because people aren't seeing what they're posting. And so if you want more people to see what you're posting, what do you do? Chipping. Mm. Give Mark Zuckerberg more money. I feel really awkward sitting with this. <laughs> like a fucking frog. <laughs>